Hey guys, it's Paige at Comfort Books, and I'm here to do my late wrap-up of February of all the books I read. I would have had it done and up by March 1st, but I was well, I was on February vacation, and I was at my grandpa's house, and my both of my uncles just had babies, so obviously not my uncles, like my aunts, but uh, they both just had babies, and they came home, and I've been babysitting and holding babies all week, so yeah. So it's been hectic, so I hadn't been able to get a get home and get a video in because all my books are at home but I'm home now so I decided to do a quick video before I went and got busy again so the first book I finished this month I read a lot of physical books but since I had to give a lot of them back because two of them were school books so I had to give those back and then uh, two, one was one was an ebook and then the rest are all physical books but I'll have to show you a couple even though they're, they were physical on my phone because I had to give them back. So the first book I finished shoot, this month was If You Find Me by Emily Murdoch. And this book was pretty awesome. Um, it was about a girl and her little sister who were kidnapped. Well, no, her mother, uh, the main character Carrie... Her mother had her, and then she, her mother's, like, schizophrenic or something. And so she took her from her father and just ran away with her, and they never found her. And then she had another baby, and so these two sisters are left alone in the woods, and then the social worker finds them and brings them back to Carrie's dad, and so forth. And it's really, it was a really good book. I loved it. So I totally recommend that. The next book I finished was, um... And Sometimes Why by Rebecca Johnson. And this is one of the only adult books I've read in a while. Uh, I actually read a couple this this month. and Which is weird for me because I haven't read that many. But I randomly just picked this off my shelf because it looks good. And I'm glad I did because I flew through it and it was really good. I'm not going to tell you too much about it because I don't have a lot of time. But when I do my video review you'll know more about it. The next book I finished was for school, and that's Detour for Emmy. I don't know if you can see that. By Marilyn Reynolds, and that's for one of the baby classes that I take because they give certain classes, and it was just a random elective to get credits, so I took that. And um, it was about a girl who gets pregnant in high school, <clears throat> and her boyfriend leaves her, and blah, 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 so how she deals with it, so that's what that one is about. Sorry if my face is really red. It's really hot in here for some reason. <sighs> the next book I read is also for school. And that's The Great Gatsby. And I loved it. I was a little afraid to read it because, you know, school books, blah, blah, blah. but I'm glad I read The Great Gatsby because it's really good. I can't wait to see the movie when it comes out this summer. And then the last, or whenever it comes out, April something, I don't know. And then the last two books I read are, this is for review, First Visions. By Heather Topamwood. I'm on the blog tour for this, so I'm not going to say much about it. You can figure it out when my review goes up in March. Um, but this was about a girl who she got sick and she went into she fell into a coma. And while she was in the coma, she had a vision of a little boy who was kidnapped. So she's just thinking it's a dream. And when she wakes up, she tells her mom about it. And her mom tells people just because I, I have no clue why she tells people, or she tells people because the dream that she had is actually real life. And the boy that she had dreamed about was actually taken, so she tells them where he is, and then he gets rescued. And so from then on, everybody's always contacting her. Oh, you're psychic, can you help me, blah, 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 blah. And she tries to not get in the limelight, because she doesn't want to be in the limelight. Until one day, a handsome dude knocks on her door asking for her help, because her his girlfriend's sister is missing. And she's really reluctant at first, but she ends up helping them, and it was such a good book. The last book I read was... Um, a tour book that I got because I'm a participate participate in around the world arc tours, so it's from there and it's Nobody But Us by Kristen Hallbrook. It annoys me that these are right on the cover. I don't know why they can't be on the back or on the inside flat because you know it's blocking the whole cover. I mean, there's already this thing. Well, well, but this is about a couple who is um she gets beaten by her drunken dad and he is a foster kid and they decide to run away together because they're in love and they want to get away from their horrible lives 
So it was basically a road trip of them getting away. And then it was such an amazing book until the end hit. And I was like, why? Why do you do this to me? Why? But anyways, it was a great book. So thanks for watching my wrap-up. Leave me links to yours below. Bye, guys.